All right, so I'm going to do a real quick video here. I had a viewer mention that there's apparently a problem with some of Austrian Audio's flagship stuff where I believe this part or this part is a little prone to breaking. So, in the spirit of being a helpful influence in the world, I'm going to see if I can take this open on video and put it back together to show the process and see if there's anything weird about it. Let's see, this is going to be tricky because i got to put it on camera. Yes, those are Torx bits. Let's see. If I can't get these back together, I can at least make content about it. Let's see, I'm not certain whether all these screws are the same. So, definitely gonna keep those in order. There's only a few here, it looks like. curious to see if this is a difficult thing to take apart or not. The adjustment mechanisms and headphones can be really easy and they can be kind of weird and tricky. Like, not, not like super complicated or anything, but just like some of them have like a lot of stuff you gotta hold in place while putting screws in and stuff like that. It, it, it's, it's, it's not the easiest thing sometimes. Okay, that certainly feels like it's not fully together anymore. So what's holding us up here? Is that one? Ah. Oh, it is broken. <laughs> I actually do believe that is broken. Hang on, let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on. Yeah. That's probably what the person was talking about. Okay, so, yes, it is prone to breaking. And actually, like, if I push on it, I can get it to not really show up very much. So it may be that it was broken before and I just didn't notice it. I was looking at, like, that piece, figuring that was going to be it. Well, that's exciting. It still doesn't really want to come apart. I didn't hear like a crunch or anything. got to be riveting content. This is like not the right size screwdriver. Maybe it has turned them. They're not as tight as they were. Okay, breaking news. That's one of them out. <sighs> I'm working on building a desk then maybe you'll be able to see what I'm doing while it's on camera. Curious. So that's a piece of that part. Ah. Some more screws came out. It does look like they're different lengths. I believe the lower ones are shorter. And that... That is not a screw, that is a shard of plastic. Okay. Let's see. So it still doesn't really want to come apart. Like it has come apart, but it doesn't want to 
be disassembled. It is super funky. I would think that would just pop out there. What's holding that in? Oh, is it? Is it got snaps? That sounds like a noise it's not supposed to make. Let's be careful here. Well, this is a fun adventure. Prying? Everything needs more prying, right? Oh, that super doesn't look like it wants to come out. Does it? Hmm. That really, 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 really looks like it comes apart that way. to. A little bit of carnage here. That's good. have to get this apart <laughs> one way or another let me let me examine it where I can actually see it devastation so I have made progress um, I have exposed that there are more screws here Let's see, so the inner panel comes off. It goes the other way. The inner panel comes off. There are four diabolical clips here. Uh, three now. Anyway, need to be replaced anyway, I guess. I've exposed the inside here. This part that was initially broken is part of this larger piece has more screws. So, let us continue. Are they the same size? Probably. Yeah, it feels like it's the same size bit. Did that screw just vanish? No, it's still in the, in the mechanism. We set this aside. The other side. Yep, yep. So it looks like you need like the the old like iPod opening tool, the little metal knife. I don't know how else you'd get this apart. It does seem to be inherently destructive, so hopefully there are new ones of this available. I actually have not even called or tried to contact the manufacturer yet to try to get parts. Because, first of all, I figured this would be easier to take apart than it is. Second of all, I did not think these were broken. I did not hear a crunching noise or anything, and there is a big freaking crack, so I'm thinking I was mistaken. But there we go. Put those two screws out. This part is now separate. Oh, that's super funky. Look at that. 
there's sort of a little tether for it there. And now it is apart. So, good news is, when you can see in there, there's a little ball bearing to act as a detent. That's not loosened up by this coming apart. Um, the little ball bearing here to act as the click for the adjustment does not fall out. It comes apart. I'm trying to figure out how this is supposed to come apart because I'm pretty sure this is not it. See, that half slides off. Is that, is that the part that this cover clicks onto? We're, we're going to order of operations this crap. Where's the other cover? Let's see. Let's show the end there. I'm going to try to get it back together and try to get it apart again and see if I can get this down pat. Okay, okay, I see. It looks like the backs of these hooks are actually open. I think this would sort of slide. Let me make sure I get this back together here first. This is not a good mechanism. This is making me genuinely pretty mad. This is all in the name of science. I have enough headphones anyway. So this is supposed to snap back together this way, I think. I think there is a sliding motion. I wish I had figured that out at first, but... Come on, buddy. Wow. really has any clips left. Just wonderful, wonderful plastic. And it still doesn't fit back together right. Ah! What good is it to do this for educational purposes if it's going to fight me this much for educational purposes? Okay, so we're pretending it's back together. It looks like that cover on the inside slides up. It hates sliding up, but it does. And that would reveal the two screws there. You could get those off. And I believe, yeah, the back cover here also slides off. And the whole freaking thing comes apart. I mean, like, if they made this out of plastic and it was just bolted together, like, visibly, just, just metal instead of plastic, it would be a completely acceptable design. I am very mad that they have done this. Because I was, like, warning the person that told me about this, like, ah, oh, well, these mechanisms can be a pain sometimes. Make sure you be careful. I was not envisioning anything this difficult when I said that. That's... <laughs> okay. In summary, inside comes off. Outside kind of comes off. And then this, I suspect, is probably the main culprit of the braking, since it's basically the majority of the mechanism. And then this here. I mean, 
It's already ruined. Should I demonstrate it on the other side? Let's demonstrate it on the other side. I think you'd have to remove this, this cushion here. So this should slide up. Unless it doesn't want to. It's not bolted at the bottom or anything. It just sort of should go. Okay, well that marred the plastic. Didn't move it at all. Okay. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, we got a gap going. We got a gap. Uh, is it? I think it's hitting up against the Velcro. Let's remove the Velcro. I always thought it was weird that the Velcro is kind of removable, and I wonder if this operation is why. Yeah, she's moving now. There we go, there's the inner part off. I think these have to come off before the outer shell. It looks like they're bolted together. Careful not to mix up these screws because they are not interchangeable. There are at least two different sizes in this hinge mechanism here. strip. There we go. That comes apart. And this should slide that way. There we go. And we have it disassembled. Okay. Well, that's good. Anyway, I hope that this is in some way helpful to people who want to try to get these apart to try to put replacement parts on. It's a... I really just think they could have used metal, but I, I don't know. Maybe they wanted to cut down on weight or something like that. I've certainly lost a lot of love for these things now. Anyway, I hope this was acceptable and informative comment content. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching.